This video will show you a little bit about what your course will look like once you log into Canvas. So after you register for the Ebly course on Canvas, you'll get an email from Ebly giving you a link to this website right here to log in. We recommend that you bookmark it, though you can always get to it through that email. You'll also get an email from Mary Grove College giving you your username and password one to three weeks typically before the course starts. Um, if it gets to be about one week before the course starts and you haven't gotten that yet, you can email info at ebly.com and we can help you get your username and password. So once you have it, you're going to put your username in here and then your password. And once you log in, the dashboard will look like this. As you can see, I have eight courses in here, but you will most likely just have one unless you've taken other courses through Marigrove before. So navigate to your course, click on the title of it, and this is the home page of the course. On the home page, you'll see a little brief overview, some navigation tips. You can click to the About Your Instructor page to learn more about the facilitator for your course, and then some quick links at the bottom. But really, the main most important things to pay attention to are here on the left with your navigation panel. You've got your home, announcements. You'll want to read these first. They're going to let you know when you have to actually click on the announcement to see the whole thing. They're going to let you know here are some helpful videos that you can watch before you get started. Um, if you go back, then here's the best ways that we know how to manage time throughout the training, the things that we recommend. Um, a brief welcome to the online training and things to do. Read the syllabus and prepare. Read the online course policies. Introduce yourself in the discussion. So that is something, um, and also the schedule of the course, this is something that's really helpful to look at. The syllabus here is a link that you can click to download it and kind of look at the whole overview of the course. The modules are really the meat and potatoes of this course. So what you'll see is um, there's a welcome here where you can introduce yourself. There is the syllabus again about your instructor and then you'll see all seven of the modules. Here's module one for week one, module two for week two, and so forth all the way through seven weeks. Um, there is a catch-up week built in in the middle, so there's eight total weeks allotted for the course. Um, what you'll see is that when you click into the first module, the first piece of the first module, it's just going to give you the learning objectives and overview. And this next and previous at the bottom here are really helpful. Then you can just click to the next piece of module one. Now it's going to tell you about a little more detailed overview, including materials that you'll need for you and your students, charts you can reference while you're teaching. And this is really handy, this module one checklist. This is a document that you can actually use. You can print it out. And you can use it to say, okay, for week one, module one, these are the things I have to do. And I am going to make sure that I do all of them and check them off. All right, so there's your checklist to keep track. Now you've got a discussion. And that one's worth two points because you do your own discussion board post and then you respond to someone else. Then here, you've got your actual training. So this is activity one and introduction to Ebly. The directions will tell you, watch the videos in the playlist, reference the documents while you watch the videos, um, reference the outlines and take notes. So then you've got charts. And also, right here at the top of every module um, page, you've got this printable documents link. This I would recommend setting up as soon as possible. So if you teach, whether you teach whole, group, whole class, small group, one-on-one, -on -one, or if you'd like all settings, when you click on one of these titles, you're actually going to see binder information. So unless you've ordered the training binder and we're sending it to you, you can actually click each of these links, and these will um, be documents that you can print out. We recommend that you get 21 tabs in a binder, use the cover page, use the table of contents, and kind of set your binder up so that you've got all the stuff ready for when you go into the training. That's all your materials there. Um, so that's where you can find all of the materials that are referenced in here and so forth. So each module has three different sets or groups of activities. Now we're on set two, which is assessment for module one, and then set three, which is up to and way, which is the first activity that you'll be teaching to students. So that's kind of the layout of the course. When you go to turn in your assignments, 
you're actually going to click on this assignments portion. You'll click on the title and in the top right there will be a button that says submit. You'll click that and then choose a file from your computer. So what will happen too is that when you are in here in your modules and you come to a quiz assignment, that document will be linked right in the module so that you have a, um, a version online, a version that you can save to your computer, I guess, not online. So you can type right into this, save it to your computer, and then when you go to submit your assignment, you can upload it right from your computer. So typically easiest if you, you know, make a folder on your desktop or wherever is easy to access for those assignments so that when you turn, go to turn them in, you can find them easily all in one place. And, um, you, you know, they're named, of course, the name of the quiz is the name of the file, so it's pretty easy to figure out which one goes with which. So that is a brief overview of your course. And again, if you have any questions at any time, email info at ebly.com. Um, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 Eastern Time, we have somebody here who will be able to answer your questions. So we cannot wait to see you in the course.